Hi guys, so I have an interesting demo here. I actually don't know what the results are going to be of this, but I, I do know what these ones are already. The, the, I'm just, the only thing I don't know about it is how it's going to react under different frequencies, but I use this a lot, this type of circuit, for just because of the gains you can get and the efficiency is just crazy. So here it is right here. So what I have going on here is I have the 24 volt as my input battery that's going into my driver circuit, just directly into it. And then you have your output right here from the driver circuit, the negative and positive. It's exactly how it is on my boards too. Like these outputs are arranged like that on my all my driver circuits. So the negative goes to uh, 18 watt LED headlight, which is right here. You can see it's insanely bright. It's actually this current right here that it's drawing. This is the input current coming out of the battery, and this is the current going into the headlight. And I'll show you. The, the current that you see there is the gain through here. And there's no way there should be a gain because, because this is just one steady wire. There is no transformer effect going into this, this white bulb. All that is happening is the, the, so this is actually a step up transformer. It's actually running through the, the center tap though in this demonstration I'm showing you, this live demo. For the drawing it's drawn out like this. But this is the, this is a transformer which you have 24 volts on this leg and 12 on the center tap. And it's 120 on the center tap over here and 220 over here or 240, whatever you want to say, 110 or whatever. And it, the output goes into a bridge rectifier, full wave bridge. And then you got your positive negative going to the 9 watt LED ball, which is this one here. No, this one here, sorry. This is a demonstration from the house. I'm just going to do something with that right away here, just a demo. And then I have the flyback energy going into that battery right there, which is being, that voltage is reading that from that battery. It's not much, but it's still energy being collected, charging another battery. But, as you can see right here, this is reading on this right here, this line right here, is where that meter is. It's in right in here. So, I'm oh, sorry, it's right here. Is where that meter is. And the other meter is right here. No, right here. Sorry. It's on uh, the Positive. It is right here that meter. Oh wait. Let's make sure I go to the right spot here on the on the drawing. Up layers all over. You know. No, the meter is right here. On the positive. Right there. That's where the second meter is. Meter there, and this is the other meter. So we're seeing a gain right here on the current, which there shouldn't be, because all it is doing is going through a coil of wire. And into the bulb. 
and that's just going directly to the bulb. And then you have this circuit powering this bulb, which is pretty bright, but it's not full brightness. This is full brightness from the wall, and I'll show you with a kilowatt. And then what I'm going to be doing with the demo is just, I have it set at 18 watts, because that's what the consumption of this bat, this light bulb takes at 14 volts going in it pulls around 18 watts so it would be pulling more than one amp at 14 volts right now it's getting 0.8 of an amp and it is it's on the scope it's saying I always have to reset it to get the actual reading, which is annoying. You gotta turn it on and off to actually get the true results. Okay, 18 kilohertz. The, the, the scope is hooked up right here on the circuit. Okay, here's the temperature of this bulb. See, this is what people you know, bothers me when they're trying to tell me that tell anybody that their 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 device is putting out the same wattage as what this one is doing, like from the wall, without actually showing you. Like here's the kilowatt meter, seven point nine watts it's taken and uh, it's running at 122.5 volts going in 60 Hertz so power factor sucks 7.9 watts and I'll show you the temperature of this bulb they've both been running for the same amount of time Wait, it's hot. 73.5 degrees Celsius. It's really hot. Because it's brighter. There's more watts going to that bulb than this one. I'm like, anybody that's showing these demonstrations needs to start doing this. If they want people to believe what they're saying. See, this one's only running at 45 watts or, uh, Celsius. So, you know, it's at least three watts less. So, you know, we're looking at, and I'm still guessing, because it's really hard to measure that power. And this one, I have no idea. I'm just going by the current right here. Because I do know what it pulls at 14 volts and it's over amp and it draws 18 watts. So, and I have 18 watts going into the total system right now. And that's about what I'm getting on the output. But it's, it's a really efficient system, right? So I don't need this bulb anymore. I just wanted to show the temperature and the watts, the difference between, uh, you know, just so a comparison, right? Right out of the wall, here's the temperature of it, and that's the temperature of the other one. So if your temperatures aren't the same, well, then you're not going to have the same watts going in, plain and simple. Move this back because it's just hard on the camera. To see what's going on right here. So now I got 18 watts going in exactly. I'm going to start taking the capacitor frequency down. So if you want to watch, that's what I'm going to do. I just want to document this.
It doesn't take me long to switch the caps. I'm going to the next frequency down. That was the highest one that I like to use. The end of the, the, the test will be somewhere around the 30 hertz range. So here's the next one. And I'll try to put each one to 18 watts. See, this one's drawing. Drawing uh, 21 watts right now. So I'll turn it down a bit. There's 18. Now you can see how much of a difference that made already. I don't remember what this one was, but I knew this one's not, that, that one's not as high. That's 18 watts. As you can see, the, there's the scope, I don't know if you can see that or not. About as best as I can do. So let's go to the next one down. The next one. It's pulling 21 watts. Eighteen point one watts. You can see the efficiency slowly getting worse. And I'm not going to bother measuring that light bulb because <coughs> I know it's getting less and less. <coughs> the one that we started with was the best one. Do the next one. Two more capacitors to test after this one. This one. It's pretty close. We're drawing 18.7. There's 18 watts. See, it, it's getting worse and worse. Frequencies down to 550. Put the 
next morning. Seventeen point four. There's eighteen watts. Input went down a little bit. So did the output though. But at those higher frequencies, you're definitely seeing me uh, on current. And then, uh, I think this is the last one. I think this one's like a pretty slow cap, 60 to 30 hertz range, I think. Okay. It's in there. Sure go. Yeah, this is the worst one. <laughs> this one's uh twenty-five hertz right here. Try to get the wattage up. That's 18 watts right there. I'm just for the element, it'll turn the frequency up a bit. That's just the rear stud ending. Both as hard as they can get it. Seven hertz is the max. Bring it down. Twenty one. Eighteen point six watts. So yeah, I just wanted to do that long video, but it's good to document and as well show you guys too at the same time. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it.